Hello all my lovelies and welcome to the blueprint. I'm Lo and my lighting is funky and it's going to be going through some changes, going through some things, some issues as we go through this video. So please excuse that. Additionally, all this stuff back here is messy. It's disorganized. I know because I'm still going through the organization process from, why do I want to say Halloween? From Christmas Day, Christmas evening, I had some things come in, a lot of things come in, and I do have a video coming out for that. So you can see all the things that were gifted to me and things that I purchased for myself. Um, yeah, so you can get inspiration for your own makeup kit or for your own makeup collection. However, that is not the main idea of this video. The main idea of this video is the fact that New Year's is coming up fast and coming up furious. Today's the 30th. Is today the 30th? 30th? I don't know what today is, but I know that in one or two days is going to be next year. And lovelies, we need to be ready. So I have two hairstyles for you. One of them is the fun hairstyle and the other one is a bit more refined. So depending on what you're going for, you can recreate these hairstyles. And to do that, stay tuned for the blueprint. Alright, the first thing I want to do is create a bang. So I'm going to grab some of the locks or a good portion of the locks from the top middle of my head and pull them forward in front of my face. So about this much is good. And I'm just going to use my finger and place it somewhere along the length of my locks depending on how long I want my bang to be. If you don't want long bangs then you're going to place your finger somewhere closer to your uh, forehead so this way your bangs will be shorter. If you want longer bangs then of course you're going to come down a little bit lower and your bangs will be a little bit longer. Okay, but the main point is that for this overhang, and I should have mentioned that before, you want two to four inches of overhang so you can use this portion to secure the bang. This overhang needs to be right where this part begins so that when we basket weave on top of it, it will hold the hair in place. I want my bang to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to place it just where my eyebrows, place my fingers just where my eyebrows are. And then from there, I'm just going to flip my locks back. Just like that and so right now I've got like this little Nicki Minaj thing going on and I'm going to just place the rest of the locks or that overhang that we talked about right on top of the part now of course we can't leave it like this because anytime we move around everything is just going to come falling down so I'm going to use a basket weave to secure this bang in place and I'm going to start right next to it instead of down here I'm going to start right next to it just so I have a very secure hold and then work my way down toward the edge of my um, hairline. And so I'm going to take this all the way down the length of my locks until um, I can't go any further. But there are a couple alternatives that you can use. You can secure this lock right here with a straight pin, or excuse me, you can secure it with one of these long uh, bobby pins. And now we have all these locks hanging down at the back here. This is what the back looks like. And then you have this fun little bang at the front. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what you can do with this bang here. Or I'm gonna remove the pin, and I'm gonna continue to basket weave this down to the nape of my neck, okay? So now I have a ponytail here and I can again use my handy dandy bobby pin and secure that little bit here. So I've got a nice little ponytail, a little bit hanging out at the back. Or the third 
option for the back of the hair. I'm going to remove the pin again and continue to basket weave this thing all the way down to the ends. So this way now I don't have any hair hanging out. Once I get towards the end of basket, weave, basket weaving, I'm just going to turn it into a braid down at the bottom. But now with this, I'm not going to worry about cleaning up the whole thing, but you get the general idea. You see, it just you just have this um, uh, basket weave that's going all the way down into a braid and then finally secured at the end. All right, so you can leave the bang as it laid when you first uh, put back your locks. Or what you can do is find the loops for all of the locks. And all I mean is that you're going to now start to put them together, grab them through the loops just like this, and try and get them in order as they lay. So this way you won't have anything sticking up like this one is right here. So I know this is supposed to be on the other side or through here. I'm going to stick that back in. So now I have all of my loops together, and I'm just going to take it and lay it to the side. So this way, now my bang has a more refined look. And this is going to look nice whether you choose to go all the way down, halfway with the ponytail hanging out, or just secure it here and have all your hair hanging out. So I do hope that you all have a wonderful New Year celebration. Please remember to be blessed, stay beautiful, 